let's come to know the change in enthalpy for a physical change a little better by taking a look at an example. In this example, when uh, 25.23 grams of methanol, CH3OH, froze, 4.01 kilojoules of heat was released. What is the enthalpy of fusion of methanol? So let's think about what's going on here first before we get started. First of all, let's think about the fact that we've got some methanol and it's liquid. So uh, we have liquid methanol and the change is that that methanol is going to freeze. Frozen methanol. We have a certain amount. We have uh, 23, or excuse me, 25.23 grams of methanol in our beaker that froze. And upon this freezing, energy was released. So we're assuming it's at constant pressure, and the energy that was released was 4.01 kilojoules. Whenever energy is released, we give it a negative sign because that's how we know that energy was released. So uh, the question is, upon this change, freezing of methanol, certain amount, certain amount of energy was given off, what is the enthalpy of fusion of methanol? Now the enthalpy of fusion, that's the thermodynamic state function that's describing the amount of energy that is absorbed upon melting of a substance. That's what the definition of fusion is. It's melting. All right, <clears throat> so the data that we have is on freezing. Fortunately, we know for this change, uh, we know that uh, from going from a, a solid to a liquid, that is always going to take energy. From a solid to a liquid is an increase in energy. Uh, and then from the liquid back to a solid is a decrease in energy. And we have data on the uh, decrease, the liquid going to a solid, but we want to express it in terms of the uh, melting. And so we'll just uh, know that the change in enthalpy of fusion is just equal to the opposite sign of the change in enthalpy of freezing. Okay, so let's calculate the change in enthalpy of freezing. Now what you need to know here, is, or remember, is typically these changes in enthalpy are reported in terms of kilojoule per mole. Sometimes you'll find it reported in terms of kilojoules per gram, but typically it's uh, reported in terms of kilojoules per mole, so we'll go the extra mile and calculate this in terms of kilojoules per mole. So it's easy enough uh, to do the calculation. Um, we just recognize that the uh, change in enthalpy, in this case we're calculating uh, for freezing, is equal to the uh, heat flow at constant pressure divided by the amount. All right, and so the heat flow at constant pressure is negative 4.01 kilojoules, and the amount is 25.23 grams. Now we want to go the extra mile and express that in terms of moles, and so all we need to do is convert the uh, grams of methanol to moles of methanol, uh, and we can do that simply by determining the molar mass of methanol. Let's see, methanol has one carbon, that's 12 grams per mole, I'm estimating this. It's got four hydrogens at one gram per mole, and it's got one oxygen at uh, 16 grams per mole. So the molar mass here for methanol is roughly 32 grams per mole. So I can put that uh, 32 grams of methanol per one mole of methanol in this uh, calculation here. The gram unit's going to cancel. And the answer for the change in enthalpy of freezing is the change in enthalpy of freezing is negative 5.09 kilojoules per mole. I want the change in enthalpy of fusion, and that's just the opposite. So that's going to be uh, negative times negative is positive 5.09 kilojoules per mole. So that's how someone would determine a, a change in enthalpy of uh, melting, in this case, for methanol.